And now in Manhattan, a grand jury has indicted former President Donald Trump. He is now the first former or sitting president in U.S. history to face criminal charges. The case centers on a payment made to adult film star Stormy Daniels in the closing days of the 2016 presidential campaign. Trump is accused of classifying the reimbursement of the payout to Daniels as legal expenses. Since the indictment remains sealed, the exact charge or charges are unknown. According to NBC, the Manhattan DA was known to be focusing on a felony charge of falsifying business records. A conviction on that charge would carry a maximum prison sentence of four years. He is expected to turn himself in and face arraignment on Tuesday. So tonight, we went out to see how people here at home are reacting to the news. I do find it a little funny that it was about a case that was more than two years ago. So there are some little things about that, but overall, more or less just surprised about it. It's just another sign of what our politics are going to. It is, it has, uh, we'll go to whatever means it takes to keep someone out of office and that's a bad thing. But uh, him getting indicted, we'll, he'll get his day in court. I think uh, it's great. I hope that we see him in jail sometime soon. Um, and I hope that it's the first of many indictments to come. I mean, if he did do it, then by all means, definitely, you know, indict him, hold him contending court, and definitely, you know, everything else will follow. But if they can find that he is going to be free and innocent and stuff like that, then, of course, definitely he should be free. Everything about him I, I didn't like. Um, he's against everything I stand for. Um, so I think he got what he deserved, and he got what was coming in the end. The deep state absolutely fell into the trap that was set for them by the White Hats. This is a beautiful thing. It's going to be all over the news. It's a trap. Unless we are privy to the, all the details at a legal level, uh, it, the first thing it says is it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at a presidential level and all. I mean, there should be other good ways to figure it out. I'm not surprised. It's all political. So. It's, uh, it's not about the legal process, it's more about politics right now. Lubbock Representative Jody Arrington also responded to the news of the former president's indictment, calling it a weaponization of the justice system that is, quote, a serious threat to the Democratic Republic. Arrington also called it political persecution.